Welcome to another episode of Recording Immersive Sound with 3D Mic Pro. This is Shomo Mitra. We often have to decide which cable to use to connect our 3D mic with our recorder or video camera. There are two options. One is to use a stereo phono cable or an XLR cable. The common notion is XLR is somewhat superior than a phono cable. Um, sound probably records better. It has better fidelity, better details. But is there any fact behind this? It is kind of logical to come into such conclusion because most of the professional audio video recorders are always equipped with XLR connectors, whereas most of the consumer grade uh, equipment has phono connector. But that does not mean that phono is inferior to XLR from the audio fidelity perspective. The fact is there is absolutely no difference in audio fidelity or audio quality while recorded through a phono than an XLR cable. There are some other differences which I will explain shortly. Uh, prior to that, let us first understand how the sound signal travels through these two different type of wires. Both of them uses a pair of wire to carry a single channel of sound. In fact, in order to complete electric circuit, you always need two wires. In case of the stereo cable, there is one wire which we call ground wire, which always remains at zero volt, and the other wire which we call a live wire, it contains the audio signal. So if we see them in an oscilloscope, it will look like this. The ground wire will always remain static at zero volt, and the live wire voltage will fluctuate oh, like one, this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hmm. And the preamplifier will record the voltage difference between the ground and the fluctuating live wire. In case of XLR, there is no such ground wire concept in the pair of wire. So, uh, these both of these two wires will carry the audio signal but in as an inverted image of each other that means while the voltage on one wire will go up the voltage of the other one will go down so when this upper one goes down the lower one goes up Hello. one two three four five six so how does it make a difference it makes a lot of difference when we consider their noise immunity towards uh, electric electromagnetic interference right now i am sitting in a room uh, it's basically full of electromagnetic radiation um, actually anywhere in any part of the world wherever you are you are actually submerged in ocean of electromagnetic radiation the key source of the electromagnetic interference is from my 110 volt 60 hertz utility supply. So whenever an alternating current flows through a conductor, a wire, it emits electromagnetic radiation. So all our utility line which is powering my video lights, my audio recorder and other gadgets, they are always emitting electromagnetic radiation at 60 hertz. Uh, there are other sources of electromagnetic radiation, say from your cell phone, from your microwave oven, your television, your computer, even the TV transmitter, radio transmitter, everything is, everything is emitting electromagnetic wave. So when any kind of electrical wire subject to such electromagnetic radiation, uh, there is a tiny voltage generated in the conductor which is called induced voltage. It is very feeble that voltage is but if you consider uh, the audio signal flowing through this wire is being amplified by the preamplifier. That preamplifier also amplifies that feeble induced electromagnetic interference voltage. So now what happens when this type of phono wire is subject to electromagnetic interference? The ground wire always remains at zero volt, but the signal carrying hot wire picks up that induced electromagnetic interference and that signal gets superimposed with your audio signal and get amplified and recorded in the resultant uh, recording. 
So, if the interference is heavy, then we can hear the characteristics 50 or 60 hertz humming in our recording. When an XLR wire is subject to the same electromagnetic interference, both the conducting wires picks up the same interference. So, what happens that both of their voltage increases simultaneously due to the interference. So, both goes up, up and down simultaneously due to the interference. When such signal is being recorded in a recorder, it just records the voltage difference between two wires which is essentially the audio signal and the, the induced EMF or interference signal is disregarded. That is what provides this kind of wire a solid immunity from the noise. The same technology has been used in our telephone line, our uh, Ethernet LAN computer cable. That is why XLR is much superior in its noise immunity than uh, stereo phono wire. Now we know what is the advantage of an XLR over a stereo cable. We can very well decide its application. If we have to run a long wire between a mic and a recorder, then XLR will be our wire of choice. For example, if you want to mount your 3D mic on a boom pole, then obviously XLR will be the wire to connect it. However, if you are using your microphone in close proximity to your recorder, for example, you are mounting on the top of your DSLR or your recorder is hanging from your shoulder and you are hand holding the 3D mic and you are running a short length of a cable 5 or 6 feet long, then you can safely use a phono wire because phono wire is thin, you just need a single thin piece of wire to get a stereo connectivity. In case of XLR, you need to use this a pair of such thick wire to connect it to get the stereo signal, uh, which is a kind of cumbersome and awkward to use. So, that is why if you are in a run and gun kind of situation when you alone is managing the camera as well as the audio recorder, then there is no need to use XLR, use a phono cable and you not lose anything in your audio quality. We offer uh, two flavor of 3D mics, one is 3D mic Indie and one is 3D mic Pro. The 3D mic Pro offers both XLR and phono connectivity whereas 3D mic Indie has only phono connectivity. Apart from that, both of these two mic are exactly identical in its uh, audio processing engine, its electronics and audio quality. So, depending on your situation, you can pick and choose a 3D mic Indie over 3D mic Pro and uh, save some money. But if your production needs boom mounted miking, then of course, uh, you have to go for 3D mic Pro. Uh, before I finish, uh, let me share something about the XLR cable. Not all XLR cables are made alike. There are cheaper XLR cable and there are a pricier version. The main difference is the kind of shielding they use. In cheaper kind of XLR cable, there is no shield. Uh, so, there are only three wires running through this cable with no shield. So, this kind of XLR cable does not provide you good noise immunity and the key reason to use an XLR cable is the noise immunity. So, do not um, uh, go for the cheapest XLR cable available and go for the one which has a shield and there is a very easy test through which you can check whether your XLR cable has a shield or not. Uh, for that you need a multimeter, set the multimeter to the connectivity setting. In this mode, uh, it will beep when it detects the connectivity. Now, touch it to the metal portion of the two XLR connector and see it is not beeping. So, that means these are not connected, so there is no shield. Now, if I use a little bit better cable, for example, this one and I test it, see it beeps. So, that means these two metallic portion are connected to each other through the shield and this cable will provide better noise immunity over the other cheaper version. So, that is all for today. Hope this will help you to select 
the proper cable and proper application and I will see you next time. Bye.